minor league baseball is on the air as we continue our tour around the minor league. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Louisville Bats and the Pawtucket Red Sox. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Casey Waters will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Waters. Trying to escape unscathed here in the first. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. E.K., you take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Yeah, and when you're playing good baseball, suddenly first place starts coming into clearer focus. They've really made up some ground here in this past week or so. And not what he wanted. Thomas Kimura will dig in here with the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. He's been tough to deal with this year. He's second on the team in RBIs, so this is a golden opportunity. A bare-handed pickup. Throw is up the line as it gets away. One run is scored. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. Batting seven. Jordan Pacheco will stand in. He comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Well, kind of more of the same for him, guys. I mean, you can see that he's not sporting the strongest batting average this year. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So they wind up with a couple of gift runs here on no hits as the runs were pretty much handed to them. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Alan Craig will stand in, and his guys have got something cooking now with two on and nobody out. And down by two, this is a good opportunity to try to put yourselves level. Down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a two to one ball game. Casey Waters is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he went down Waters. in flames, too. Got him on just three pitches. And a ball slider's one, in no the strike. dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A two-to-one score here as we play inning number three. Ball two. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. and oh. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. But take a look at a few and see what he's got. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Now that he's worked it to 3-0, and oh, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Hey. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. and one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Holds ball off four. on the slider, Big and that's break. a good idea as it's ball four. And you'd like to say good job there. Now to the plate, Thomas Kimura, and he'll be looking to add on to his two RBIs from earlier. Here it comes, 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three, the throw. Oh, but he thought better of it as he aborted the steal attempt and headed back to first. Jordan Pacheco comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. It was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run, so... I'm sure he's going to be thinking about that missed opportunity for a little while. Cottrell is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Casey Waters now stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Casey Waters. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. This guy has been amazing. He's thrown a first pitch strike to around 80% of the batters he faced. And we're in the middle innings now, so you know he's doing well. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Thomas Kimura, ready to take another shot, went down on strikes his last time up. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting, and you have to accept that it's going to happen sometimes. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout. 
Jordan Pacheco digs in and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. Yeah, a couple of ducks on the pond out there looking to make that trip nope. home. This is a big two-out A-B right here, guys. And that pitch misses for ball four. James Ayers will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Looking to keep this a one-run game right side. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the bases loaded jam. So they pick up no runs on two hits. Casey Waters steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Waters. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, what a dive! Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Thomas Kimura ready to try again. Struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and they fanned him on a fastball last time, so let's see if they come at him with the hard stuff again. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lamar is in pursuit, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And this will prove to be a heads-up play at first as he tags up and moves into score. Jordan Pacheco takes his turn now, looking to add some insurance to their lead in the form of that run standing out at second base. Yeah, a base hit right through the infield would probably do it, but you can bet those guys in the out. And the He's throw out. is in time to get him to retire Thank the side. Gentlemen. So it's, it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man right. left. On now to the bottom of any. Casey no Waters matter. stands Thanks, in. Thanks, He'll try to improve in this Casey. at bat after grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. First ball pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Even though this is still just a one-run game, this thing could get ugly in a hurry. So if you've got an out pitch, you better pull it out of the bag right now. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A three-run shot down the line in left, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and beyond in this one. He's our top player of the game. And this is what our you want out of your starter. Gives them seven the strong back. innings, sets Five things up. Now from your exclusive home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Louisville Bats and the Pawtucket Red Sox. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on? Casey Waters will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Well, he's had seven RBIs in his last 10 games, so he is producing runs, and he had another good one yesterday. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. E.K., let's take a look at our homestanding nine as they enter play here this evening. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've no been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Yeah, and when you're playing good baseball, suddenly first place starts coming into clearer focus. They've really made up some ground here in this past week or so. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't. Thomas Kimura will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with Bridge down in the 230s. He's safe. And he'll get back in safely. Got a pretty good lead right there. And again, a throw. No, runner back safely. Why not? Make him get dirty. 
Runners at the corners, two men out. And again, a throw. He's good. And the runner back. Keeping him close. And a slur, Walk but out. this is in Great the team. dirt for a ball. Now, this first inning's been a rough one already. He needs an out here in the worst way. Yeah, and you don't want to get caught having to play catch up this early in the ball game. So you're right. He's got to work his way out of this jam right now. And he'll be thrown out at first. So that didn't go quite according to plan. And with it, the inning is over. Casey Waters will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch on its way. And he hey. takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Tonight, borderline calls. You got to be swinging. Yeah, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. And, and you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. And here's where... Thomas Kimura will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 0-2 home. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Alan Craig is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. Well, and everyone knows he's slumping right now, so we'll see if that got him going. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Waters in foul ground, and the inning is over. So they score four times on two hits, with the big blow being the home run. No errors, and no one left on. Josh Rutledge comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. He swings and pops it high toward the left side of the infield. Waters is there, and it takes just one pitch to retire the leadoff man in the oh, home man. half of the fifth. Casey Waters digs in, it? coming off a single in his last at-bat. Casey Waters. And he just keeps rolling along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. Count. 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. And this is part of why he's had a lot of success so far. He's done a lot of work on the edges and stayed out of the middle of the strike zone. And he chased it in the dirt. And the throw oh. to first is there to record the second out. Casey Waters will stand in now with two away, needing to really now get something man. started here. And their chances of getting Casey back into this ball game Waters. are growing dimmer by the too high. fastball ball. too high to start him out here, one and oh. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. This is a guy whose numbers are on the rise, and this is a big reason why. Too close. It takes, and now he's in a great hitter's count, 2-0. 5-1 our score as we play the eighth. Chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now. Grounded to third. Throw on to Craig will be in time, and the inning is over. Brennan Bosch will be our leadoff man when we return. Home half of the eighth. A handful of fine individual performances to choose from in this one, boys. But what do you say we go ahead and let this man take home the hardware? He's our tops player of the game. Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. 
Casey Waters will get his first shot here. A couple of hits in four trips last night. Well, this guy's hitting over 300 on the year now, and he had a good performance yesterday as well. And, ooh, I'm not sure you can get fooled worse than that. It's 0-1. And here's a curveball in the dirt strike. that time for a ball. One and one. Well, that was a no-brainer there. If a guy misses that poorly on a curveball, you got to throw got him another balls. one. One strike. That was better recognition there. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And you check this out. This is Eric Allison will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Well, guys, he's really been scuffling lately, hitting under 250 over his last 10 games. So he's going to be looking to turn this thing around. Jude Hernandez will stand in. And as you can see, the numbers away from home, he's been much better once he gets out on the road. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom half. Ryan Lamar will stand in, getting the start here despite being out of the lineup last night. Now a double play ball here as this is... To second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Around the horn they go, five to four to three to end the threat. More to come on the show. Casey Waters is into the box as we are all set to begin the third. And they jumped out to that early lead, so now it's all about just adding on. Liner towards second, and a base hit now as that's how the third inning gets underway. We are seeing a lot. Striding into the box, Eric Allison. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Trying to strike him out for the second time. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already. Jude Hernandez is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him back in last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lamar has a read on it. Oh, no, he dropped it. The relay. But a heads-up play as two fielders were better than one that time. Digging in to try it again. Casey Waters. He singled his last time up. How about it? Into the windup and the pitch. Water. Oh, what a pitch to start one. the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. Well, this is pretty strange, guys. He's thrown a first pitch strike to every batter he's faced, and yet he's obviously struggling quite a bit. I he's throwing strikes, but they're just way too hittable. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Casey Waters ready for another at bat now. He's two for three so far. Yeah, and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit. Those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Ah, not able to no hold on there as he swings through a pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0 and 2. Popped high in the air. Witt is underneath this one. And that will retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The bats lead it. And fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from. But out of everybody, that's the man who stands out in my book. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a Our couple of hits for him.